My name is Marnie Blewett. I'm a scientist at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research. My lab's interested to find a new treatment for Prader-Willi syndrome, and this work is funded by the Prader-Willi Research Foundation Australia. So what is Prader-Willi syndrome? Prader-Willi is a devastating disorder that is currently incurable and really doesn't have any effective treatments. There are a wide range of symptoms, but just some of them include low muscle tone, insatiable appetite and obesity, developmental delay and intellectual disability, challenging behaviours including rages, short stature and scoliosis, and a wide array of hormone dysfunctions. And this is just to name some. There are a much broader array than this, and so this really does make it a truly devastating disease for the sufferers. So what is the cause of Prader-Willi syndrome? Prader-Willi is a genetic disease, and that means that it's caused by malfunctions or defects in the genetic material, or the genes. In this case, these genes are on chromosome 15. But they're unusual because although you inherit a copy from your mum and a copy from your dad, it's only the genes inherited from the dad that are active or awake and therefore being used. The copy from the mum for these genes are sleeping or inactive. In Prader-Willi patients, for a variety of different reasons, the copy from the dad is missing or in some way inactivated. And this is what results in disease because these patients no longer have any awake genes for these important genes on chromosome 15. So how might we develop a new treatment for Prader-Willi syndrome? Well, one of the really important things about Prader-Willi syndrome is that all patients still have a good copy of these disease genes on chromosome 15, the important genes on chromosome 15 from their mum, but these genes are asleep. So one potential way to treat this disorder is to awaken those genes that you've inherited from the mother. And we think we might know how to do this. We discovered a protein called SmoochD1 and its job is to switch off these genes on the copy inherited from the mother of chromosome 15. Therefore, if we inhibit SmoochD1, we may reawaken these genes and switch them back on again and therefore have a potential a treatment for Prader-Willi syndrome sufferers. Prader-Willi Research Foundation Australia is currently funding us to develop the tools to be able to remove SmoochD1 in human cells. Using these tools and with funding from the Foundation for Prader-Willi Research USA, we will then test our hypothesis and test whether removing SmoochD1 function in patient-derived cells will do the job and help potentially help Prader-Willi syndrome patients. Of course, in the end, what we want to do is have new medicines for Prader-Willi sufferers. And so we're also working on drugs that target SmoochD1 to remove its functionality. We're very hopeful that these new drugs that we're trying to develop will actually relieve some of the most severe symptoms for Prader-Willi patients and therefore improve their quality of life. We are very thankful to both the Foundation for Prader-Willi Research USA and the Prader-Willi Research Foundation Australia for supporting this research.